Good morning, folks. We're now four days without a six magnitude earthquake. Here are the most interesting rumbles from the past day. But one that you do not see on here is a 4.9 in Peru that turned out to be far more damaging than you would expect. At least eight are dead and hundreds of homes destroyed. This 96 hour lull is still expected to end as the coronal hold down south becomes earth facing and begins our next watch period, expected to last three or four days. Back at Earth, we're still awaiting the speedy stream from the previous coronal hole in the solar wind. Still got nothing yet. It was a calming day on the sun after the morning's big M flare, whose CME will not be geo-effective. We did take a smaller M1 afterwards, and the big filament remains stable as it begins to turn away from the Earth-facing position. Taking a look at the sunspots, we'll do the right, then the left. Up north departing, we see the delta spot in the center where positive and negative are mixing. Down south, we see residual mixing a bit, but much was cleared away by the M flares yesterday. Incoming up north, I spy a Delta candidate that NOAA has yet to recognize, and spots down south are a bit disappointing, I must say. Still may be more coming. So we've been watching Venus come in for solar conjunction, but we're actually going to have one before this. Venus takes its time creeping in, but Mercury does not. The innermost planet flies around the star and will actually swing in first. After that, Mercury will conjoin Venus on its way out, and only after that do we see Venus finally come in for conjunction. Today's top story is about the North Sea salinity. Turns out the Arctic melt has absolutely nothing to do with the salinity changes. It's all about the Gulf Stream driven from the south. And while we're talking about the polar ice, let's get an update. In 2012, we set an all-time record minimum for the Arctic ice. And while we cannot confuse surface ice with total volume, it is noteworthy that at this time we are literally 50% recovered from that record low in just two years. This, of course, comes as the Antarctic ice remains above record surface ice levels despite the volcanic melting of the underside, and the peak hit nearly a week ago smashing records. For more on how these and other things fit into the climate story, just click my name anywhere on this page to pull up the channel site, scroll down to find our playlists. I do recommend them all, but the third one down should be our climate change playlist. Tropics Watch sees Rachel still staggering off the coast of Baja. Meanwhile, the M flares produced yet another Uyen Canada in the west as Kamuri leaves. It doesn't look like Fanfone will be able to miss Japan eyes open there. Back in the states we've got this deceptively powerful low pressure system that has churned up floods from Arizona to Utah and has dropped some pretty significant hail on the north and western portions of the wind drive. Quite a bit of damage from these relatively large ice balls. There is more hail and snow likely on the backside of that low while the leading east edge will continue to produce severe storm warnings along the northern flow. Western winds off the Atlantic still a factor in the southeast. In Europe, two lows in the North Sea and North Atlantic. We're also eyeing a flow onto the southwestern nations from the Mediterranean. That's where we find our weather watches for this evening. They are in purple. Down under, we see a convergence shooting atop the North Island of New Zealand once more, and something else relevant is the flow at the southeastern part of Australia. The rain sticks with the Kiwis, but the high wind gusts in the southeastern part of Australia are likely the more dangerous scenario. The Mobile Observatory Project comes to Kansas City today. See observatoryproject.com for details. We've got a couple miscellaneous notes from the latest global state of the climate graph. And even though Helio Viewer is still lagging, we've got some shots of our star to close. Enjoy the calm while it lasts at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.20 a.m. Central. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.